Good morning, my beautiful diamond. Sheila True Love here with you this fine Monday morning. Have you ever wondered why do you keep attracting the same type of person, but they're just in a different body? It seems like you keep attracting these abusive types, these narcissistic types, and you can't seem to figure out why is it that I keep attracting these type of people? Like the only type of people I seem to attract are people who have potential and people who always need help. And I couldn't figure out why do I keep attracting these people. Now what she's about to share with you, and I love her, her name is Nikki Valentine. She has amazing TikTok videos and she's, she's incredibly bright. And you know me, how I feel about a strong, smart woman. Absolutely. All the way. Um, what she's saying here, I'll, I'll come back to you with my commentary but she's awesome now notice her name right here nikki valentine god is not punishing you with a string of bad relationships you just haven't figured out the pattern yet of why you keep on attracting the same person in different bodies let's talk about it so there is this thing that happens when you get into one toxic relationship after another that people cry out to god and be like why are you punishing me why doesn't god want me to be happy Ugh. that's not what's happening God does not want to punish you. We don't have a punishing, uh, well, thank goodness for the New Testament. We no longer <laughs> have a punishing God. So that is not the goal for God to be like, ooh, I'm going to like throw you into a bunch of hard relationships to teach you a lesson. That's not it. What's happening is that there is a trauma that happened. That trauma or an unmet need created a desire in you to fill that hole. So you find people that you think will fill that hole. Unfortunately, just because they seem like they can fill that hole or alternately they seem familiar to whatever fucked up care that you got when you were a younger person, that doesn't mean that's good. But the problem is you keep picking it because you don't realize the connection between the trauma you went through and this person. You don't realize how they're replaying what you experienced. You don't realize how you're trying to resolve that initial trauma but you can't resolve it through another person. So you just keep picking the people and picking the people. That's a subconscious thing. That's not God punishing you. That's a pattern that you keep acting out because you're not consciously aware of the pattern. So your subconscious mind is just doing all the work and picking these people. I'll give you an example. I had a father that would give you all the material things in the world, except he lived overseas from where we were. So you might get all the gifts and then he won't be there for another like three to six months because he has to work overseas. So I learned very young that people care about you if they buy you things and they financially provide and that somehow it's okay. If that also means that you don't get the emotional um, support that you need, right? So guess what I did? Started dating men who would do the same thing, emotionally unavailable, but they were financially sound and would take care of me and give me a nice lifestyle, but I couldn't crack into their heart to save my fucking life, right? And I kept picking men and kept picking men and kept picking men that were like that until I went to therapy and understood that this version of love that I experienced very young from my father stuck in my head and in my subconscious. So I kept repeating it and trying to resolve it and going towards things that seemed familiar to that because it made sense. That's not God punishing me. God didn't like try to fuck me up over the course of time via these relationships. I was stuck in a pattern. So I encourage you to work with a coach or a therapist that can listen and help you identify the patterns and help you identify what it is in these people that you keep on going for so that you can make conscious decisions in dating so that when you see a person the next time that looks like that, you can go, oh, that's my pattern talking. Let me not do that. If you need support in that, please. So like she made very clear, a lot of things have happened to people in their childhood. I get so sick of that because you have to put the work in to get past all of that. But things have happened to people in their childhood that they can't seem to break or get past. A, a, a reason why they tend to lean towards these abusive people is because it feels familiar. That's something that they are used to, you know, um, like if a person, if you try talking to a person sensibly, without screaming, without using profanity, sometimes that won't work if you talk to a person kindly like that, because that's not what they're familiar with. Now, when you're screaming at them, cursing them out, calling them all kind of B-I-T-C-H's and calling them out of their name and being disrespectful, they listen. 
because that's what they're familiar with. That's what they're comfortable with. That's what they know. But my thing problem with that is when that was happening to you, you didn't like it then. So why would you want to be with someone who's doing that to you now? Because it's familiar. I don't give a damn how familiar it is. I didn't like it then and I'm not putting up with it now. Like certain things that happen in my childhood, I don't put up with it when I meet someone, but everyone is different. You know, a lot of people like me, I've been into therapy. I've, I've taken myself and put myself in, into therapy with a psychiatrist, a psychologist, uh, 10 sessions with five sessions with a woman, five sessions with a man. Um, and then I've talked to several counselors and social workers and I put in the work to get the healing that Sheila true love needed. Cause I was broken also, you know, you go through some traumas. I was broken basically for what these men have done to me. Maybe it was like 10% of my childhood, but 90% was what these men have done. And a lot of times a person is broken, not just from what happened to them from their mom or their dad. It could be from what your peers, when you was growing up, did they pick on you? Did they bully you? And that could also be a part of your trauma or your PTSD. But what you have to do, a lot of people, you have to put yourself in therapy, you know, and try to figure all this stuff out. When I was in therapy, I'm going to be honest with you. They told me my diagnosis from each and every one of these psychologists, uh, you are true. You're well adjusted. You've been through a lot but you seem to know how to bounce back. Everyone is not like you. That's what they told me. And I mean that like I had issues with drinking, but raised as a Jehovah's witness, I wasn't allowed to get the help and the support that I needed, you know, because they said AA or moderation management or any of these fellowship meetings, it was associated with Babylon the great. They call that the empire of false religion. So I had a battle with alcohol. And I like to share this with you in case it, it's helpful to someone else. So you see that you're not the only one who's going through certain things. You're not the only one, baby. And Sheila True Love, that you looking at me right here? Hell no, I'm not no perfect person. I'm not better than anyone else. I had my struggles. But the moment I left Jehovah's Witnesses and I was physically out and mentally out, I no longer have a drinking problem. I noticed that. I'm able to go to the fellowship meetings or whatever I need to get the healing and the support that I need. But back to like she's saying, you, you have some past traumas that you have not dealt with and you need to go. Some people need the therapy thing. I know the first thing I needed was prayer. Lots and lots of prayer has helped me. Jehovah, Jesus, the Holy spirit, Joyce Myers, and that woman has helped me tremendously. And now I have a uh, Christian counselor that I love her. Her name is Chris Reese. She's awesome. She's on YouTube as well. K-R-I-S-R-E-E-C-E. -E -E. I love the topics that she talks about. She offers uh, sessions if you want them. She's amazing. And this beautiful lady here, Nikki Valentine, if you want sessions with her, just go on her YouTube. I mean, her TikTok. I don't know if she has a YouTube. I'll look that up. But I think she's awesome too. I like people who seem, who it, not seem, I don't know her personally, but well adjusted. I need people who are mentally and emotionally healthy in my life. So when it comes to why do you keep attracting the same kind of person, the same types, but they're in different bodies, I hope this helped you to get a, a more clearer understanding. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. And don't forget, I'm also a Christian counselor, advice coach. I have a lot of my clients who have hit me up and I love you all and thank you. And keep the calls coming and keep the texts coming and the emails. I love you. I have no problem um, uh, speaking with you and, 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 and walking through things with you. Sometimes I end up crying with you, laughing with you. We, I do it all with them. And I work on a donation basis. And the reason I do that is because you know, rents are high, food is high, everything is high. So whatever you can afford to donate, because I use that to, subs you know, subsidize my 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 uh, income, whatever. And I, I always feel that if a person pays for something, they will take it more seriously and they'll take it more to heart, you know, more so than if you give, give people things for free. 
So when you pay for something, you take it more seriously. And I think that since you're spending your money, you're going to really, really listen and hear what I am sharing with you. And like I said, I'm an advice coach. I'm not no life coach because my life is not perfect. But if you appreciate my way of seeing things or you, you appreciate my outlook on life, by all means, hit me up. I leave my information in the description with my email, my uh, phone number, and my cash app and PayPal. Like I said, donation, baby. Whatever you can afford, I got you. I'm there. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds.